hey everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i would be discussing and showing you around how can you get your logo could be your youtube logo could be your company's logo on top of a video that you're going to produce in wondershare filmora again it could be any version of filmora could be the latest one x could be eight nine seven whichever you have and then few things that you can do you can move the logo on top bottom left right wherever you want you can resize the logo remove the background of the logo that's the most important and many more things also if you're new to this channel i do post a lot of videos related to tutorials for this particular software which is wondershare filmora and also bits and pieces of few other softwares so do consider subscribing so that whenever the new tutorials are up for filmora you guys would be the first one to be getting notified about it so without wasting any further ado let's understand how it's done so that's the interface of wondershare filmora now in order to get a logo on top of your video first of all we obviously need a video that we need the logo on for now what i'll do is i'll select a sample video out of the given database and let's say i go with this video or let's say i go with this video so hold that video down and then drop it onto the timeline let's say for the purpose of the video i'll repeat the video multiple times so that there's about a bit of length that you can see that the logo would be on top of the video now in order to get the logo on top of the video you need a logo so wherever you have it stored just import that logo for example i've got this one now first step is take that particular picture and then drop it on to top of that video like this and then stretch and increase the size of that logo to match the length of your video now second step is double click on that particular image you will get a lot of options here in here you will need to click on the second option which is compositing click on that and here you will see blending mode click on that and then click on the third option which is multiply once you click on multiply you will see that it will automatically blend your logo on top of the video and it will remove the background of it now in some cases your logo might be the other way around as in the logo would be the letters would be in white color and the background of your logo might be in black color in that scenario you will have to pick and choose the blending mode that works well with your type of logo for example in that case multiply option might not work you might have to choose some other options out of here but if you have got a logo on top of a white background then you just need to click on multiply once you do so you will see that the background has been eliminated now after that you can resize the logo based on your requirement and the position the easiest way would be just hold your logo from one side and then just shrink it like this now based on your requirement you can resize it let's say i want to keep it at this size afterwards you can just hold the logo from the middle and then drag and drop it wherever you want most people would prefer pasting it at the top right corner so you can leave it like this after that for the precision effect if you really want to move that logo slightly on the top position you can use the keys on your keyboard to do so so just up arrow key to move it up right arrow key to move it on the right hand side so it definitely helps you to fill those little gaps once you are happy with that just leave it and let's see how the video looks like now Right, so this is how the logo would stay here. Now, another few things that you can do in terms of your logo is that if you double click on your logo again, and then if you go to the animation option, you will have a lot of animations which you can choose from. I prefer not to, but if you want, you can play around with few options to make it look a bit more appealing. For example, if you double click on fade in effect, your logo would appear something like this. And then there's many effects, let's say zoom in, your logo would appear like this. So based on, as I said, your requirements, you can just play around with that. Now, let's say another thing that you can do is going to the color option in color. You can kind of increase those basic things of editing that you can, such as you can increase the contrast of your logo, decrease it, increase the saturation, decrease it, brightness, all these things. You can make your logo black and white by going to 3D LUT. And here you can just click on B and W, which is black and white fill. And again, as I said, there's many effects and transitions which you can play around and see which one works best with your logo of the company 
and which one looks more appealing on top of your video. I hope you liked this video and you got the information that you were looking for. If you do have any sort of questions, do not hesitate to post them in the comment section below. I'll definitely answer as soon as possible. If you did like this video, do hit that like button. Also, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up like these, you guys would be getting a notification on your phone saying that a new video is up. With that, you guys have a great day, stay safe and I will see you guys in the next video.